So recently, Sony looks like they're moving forward on a Metal Gear Solid movie. So they're going after the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily going to take place for number one. I don't think we've had any word exactly which game this will this movie uh, movie will follow. But we have heard a couple things. Um, one now, back makes in... the most sense. Just unless they do something completely different, one seems to make the most sense to me. Nah, see, I would. I would well, we'll talk about that in just a second. But um, uh, back in 2012, we had Hideo Kojima, you know, the creator of Metal Gear Solid, and Avi Arad, uh, yeah, A R A D. Um, the, he's a big producer in Hollywood. He's just done Blade, all the Spider Mans, all the X Men, Iron Man, and a bunch of animated cartoons. And that's just a little sample of what he's produced. So he's very, very into all that types of movies. So this is a good producer to have. Um, they said that they wanted to move forward with a. Uh, a Metal Gear Solid movie. So that's back in 2012. Just recently, Sony has signed Jay Basu uh, to write the script for the movie. So they're, you know, moving moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Now, I didn't know who Jay Basu was. I hadn't heard of him, really. I looked into what he'd done. Um, he'd written, written a movie called Monsters Dark Continent. Had never heard of that, but, you know, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Uh, but he is going to be helping uh, Universal develop their monster movie universe that we talked mm. about a while back. So he is integral over there. So it is going forward. So we, we are seeing it move. Your Sally going to be part of the monster movie universe? No, no, no. This will be separate. Don't worry. Yeah, we're not going to see I'm that saying, happen. That'd be... Well, I guess it's Sony. Sony's d- d- working on this one, right? On yeah, Sony's Marvel. working on this one. So okay. it might pop up with Spider-Man. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm just joking about that. But, yeah, so now let's talk about... What movie would be, uh, what video game would be best? And you say one, and I understand that's the biggest one. That's the one that really brought everybody into the Metal Gear. That's but a story I would... kind of retold a couple times now. So, And it's a really good story. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. It's really fun. There's plenty of cinematics. I could see them easily transitioning that into a movie. But the one I think would be a little bit better, now it's a little more convoluted, but Metal Gear Solid 3, because that's really the start of this whole series, because Metal Gear Solid One, so, uh, you know, stars Solid Snake. That's who you are. You, you're going in. You're trying to track down a group of mercenaries that have hijacked um, the Metal Gear, which can, is a bipedal tank thing that can shoot nukes anywhere in the world. Uh, now, your brother Liquid Snake is one of the people that has hijacked it, and you run into a whole bunch of really cool bosses and enemies and stuff while you're going through. But Metal Gear Solid Three was actually about Liquid and Solid Snake's father. And that's kind of where this all started. This is this is the first place that um, the Metal Gear was introduced. Uh, you you kind of drop behind enemy lines to track down your old mentor, uh, who's just called Boss or Big Boss. Yeah, Big Boss. And she's in there and she's doing stuff with the the Soviets who are developing a Metal Gear for the first time. So it takes place more back in the 60s. And I think this would be a good place to start if you're going to do a movie franchise just because you can help set people up. You don't necessarily have to be a big fan of the game in order to enjoy the movie if they do it right. Also, I, I like the characters a little bit more. They were a little more developed. Um, it wasn't quite as rambly as uh, the the 1 and 2 were, so I don't know. Did you ever play 3? I don't think I played 3, but as as I recall from hearing about it, weren't they... But the cinematics started by that time were went on forever. Like they had hours of cinematics almost by by that time. Well, it's not I'm necessarily just wondering if you can compress it. And it not... wasn't necessarily that they had hours of cinematics. Yeah, now they did have a lot. This uh, the big thing was when they were talking to each other on the radio. That's what took forever. When oh, okay. when you, if you went, decided to go through all the radio options and call everybody and find out everything, that's what really took a long time. Uh, so they had hours and hours of dialogue, yes. They just didn't necessarily have hours and hours of, of cinematics. Uh, but I think that would be just a cool jumping-off point. It, it gives people a good, solid footing, and then if you wanted to move on and keep these characters going, number one, you can go to their sons, uh, which is you know Solid and Liquid Snake, and so you could do number one, and then you could do number two be Metal Gear Solid one, you know, and, and kind of lead people in through that way, which I would be cool with too. 
Now, if they wanted to just say, hey, we're going to do Metal Gear Solid 1 right now, and then maybe we'll do some of the other ones as prequels, I would almost say don't do it that way. Just develop a new universe after 1 or going through 1, because movies that take too close of a take on the video games uh, never quite work out too well. I Honestly, I can't imagine. I can't imagine yeah, it working if they tried to go through the video game franchise like that, but that's also why I think the first one makes the most sense because that's you have the the biggest character, the most iconic character of the series as well, the focal that's, point, that's, Solid Snake. That's, and then you yeah. can go anywhere from there, from from tweaking that story, that basic story of infiltrating the the mercenaries and getting the metal and dealing with the Metal Gear, um, that basic story. You can compress that, you can rework that a little bit, and then you can go from there whatever direction you want um, kind of easily. So, Yeah, and, and I can see that. And they do have it in a nice little place where the whole game takes place in one little, well, not little, but one giant complex. So you could give people a brief understanding of what's going on with some sort of interesting montage in the very beginning, and then, boom, we're sending in this special agent. His name is Solid Snake. You know, you could do that. I could see that. That could be. That could work very well. You don't have to give him the background of who his father was or who his mother. You know, you don't need all that, even though that's what the later games do. So, ah, you're right. I mean, it would work. I just think if we wanted to see a, a franchise blossom, and again, I don't know that we do because we'll see how well they do this movie. Um, if they wanted to do see a franchise, if they wanted to do more than just one movie, I think the best place to start would be number uh, three the game, but eh, we'll see. Let us know what you think. What game do you think they should start with? Uh, hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways to get in.